good afternoon guys good afternoon sir are you lunch everyone yes sir okay good so how many of you have tried this particular problem anyone tried this problem So how many of you have uh, uh, tried this particular problem? ಯಾರು ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಲ್ವ ಈ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ನ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಸಿ ವೆನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಡಿಬಲ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೇ Yes sir. yes sir okay okay so we'll solve this okay we'll solve this in, in a very quick time okay so now let us identify the given data for oh, it's very large okay let us identify the given data for this particular problem okay ah. so he says it's a four cylinder so we'll write just four cylinder petrol engine has an output of 52 kilowatts so output in the sense whether it is bp or ip if he is telling that it is an output of 52 kilowatts whether should i consider it as bp, BP or ip pp isn't it so output in the sense it is nothing but your value of bp he has given that is 52 kilowatts so just compare the previous problem and the present problem previous problem we were supposed to calculate the value of brake power but in this particular problem he has already given it and even he has given the value of speed that is 2000 rpm okay a most test is carried out uh most test and uh, brake torque readings are so torque he has given so he has given t1 as 177 T2 as 170, T3 as 168, T4 as 174. All these are in Newton meters. Okay. So normal thing of the speed specific fuel consumption is being given specific fuel consumption. so that is 0.36 kg per kilowatt hour 
it's just a spectral consumption so cv value is being given it is 44200 kilo joules per kg so we need to calculate what we need to calculate number 1 is to find the mechanical efficiency is been asked number 2 is the brake thermal so only if you calculate these two you will get 10 marks guys 10 marks okay let's start so bp is given in order to calculate mechanical efficiency i think we require ip isn't it so how do you calculate it how do you calculate it plan divided by ಹಾ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಎಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನ ಎ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನ ಎನ್ ಪಿ ಎಂ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾನ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಡಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ಮೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ಹೌ ಡಿಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಐ ಪಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ಸ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ Okay. Ah. So first we need to calculate the mechanical efficiency. So mechanical efficiency is nothing but BP divided by IP into 100. So we have the value of BP so we need to calculate the value of IP. So IP in the most test is given as for the four cylinder we have just derived in the last I will just directly take that. Four times of BP minus BP1 plus BP2 plus BP3 plus BP4. Correct? Is this the expression for Morse test? Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Okay. BP equal to the name. So BP1, BP2, BP3, BP4 and BP... You will have to get a video though. How do you calculate that? 2.8 divided by 60. How do you calculate that? Yes. Exactly. You are right. So BP1, you will calculate it as 2 pi n t1 by 60. Okay, that is nothing but again 2 pi n value is how much? 2000 cross uh, P1 value. All, all of you calculate BP1, BP2, BP3 and BP4 and give me the value directly in kilowatts. Okay, I will take it at once. Keep calculating guys. One seventy-seven is T one. T two is one seventy. T three is one sixty-eight, and T four is one seventy-four. Yes, given the value, it will be one. so once you have done all this go with that particular formula to calculate your value of ip it says 4 times of bp bp value is how much 52 kilowatts 3052 which one bp1 is like 3000 okay. no 37052 okay. okay okay give me in the kilowatts uh, lucky give me in kilowatts 37.07 37.07 BP2 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 35.6 
35.6 BP3. 35.18 and BP4. 36.44. Thirty six point four four. Now you calculate your value of IP just by adding all this. So Sixty three point seven. Seven point zero one plus. Sixty three point. Seven kilowatt. Seven. Very good. So this is the value of IP. So once IP is being calculated, just calculate your value of mechanical efficiency there. BP divided by IP cross 100. So this is BP is 52 out of 63.7 cross 100. So this is how much? Thanks, sir. Every time mechanical efficiency is to be calculated like this only, yeah? Yes. Eighty one point six three. Eighty one point six three. So that's close the game. Okay. So you have calculated mechanical efficiency. So next, what is being asked? The brake thermal efficiency. The second but is brake thermal efficiency. Brake thermal efficiency is nothing but BP divided by MF dot into C V. Correct. Now, uh, what he has given, he has given uh, specific fuel consumption. So I would consider it uh, to be a brake specific fuel consumption. So what is the brake specific fuel consumption he has given? Brake specific fuel consumption is equals to what? It is nothing but M by BP. And that is given as how much? 0.36. 0.36 this is kilo kg per kilowatt hour now from this i need to calculate the mass flow rate of fuel that is bp cross 0 0.36 so bp is how much substitute in kilowatts so 52 cross 0.36 so whatever the mass flow rate of fuel you will get that would be in kg per hour. So once you get that, you convert it into 18.72. So 18.72 18 I am converting it into kgs per second. So CV value of, uh, is given as much is the total of 44 200 so it is 44 200 kilojoules per kg now the brake thermal efficiency is 52 in kilowatts divided by divided by 18.72 divided by 3600 cross 44 1200 cross 100. So, whatever you get, it would be in percentage 32.6%. How much? 22.6. 22. Uh, okay. 22. Okay. Okay. So these are the problems on IC engine, guys. Any difficulty in these problems? Anything that you did not understood in these problems, you can discuss now. Because almost we are coming to an end of this particular module. From the next class, we are going to start module number two, which is on return cycle. Okay, This is the last class for this particular module. Any doubts? If you have, you can discuss. No, okay. Sir, send this notes. Module 1. Ah, today I will PDF. be sending you the notes. PDF. 
the whatever PDF you are seeing here. Uh, the, that I will be sending you. Uh, so I've seen your college. Anyone taking the print out of this and reading it, I'll definitely note it down your name now. I don't want that to happen. I want you to solve by just by looking, taking this as the reference. Okay. So, Therian problem, both also there, no? Both are there, man. both are. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll check this more stress. Everything is there, everything is there. Okay. So, it came around 47, 48 pages, okay? So, last problem is there. Will you try? Okay. Hmm? We will try this particular problem and it, this is little bit concept oriented, a uh, little bit different. I'll just help you out. Okay, don't worry. So how far you can solve, you just solve. So at the last, I would be helping you. Okay. So I did not get the Google Classroom link. Why man, many are complaining that particular thing? Hmm? What's the classroom? Sir. Okay. Sir, is there any derivation or theoretical part in this chapter? Derivation in the sense only for the more stressed what we have derived in the last class. That's it. There is no other derivation part here. Okay, that is why I have chosen this particular part. If you go with the other part, which is uh, the year standard cycles, there you have four cycles to be learned. For four cycles, you have eight derivations. Oh. Eight derivations and problems. So, taking that into account, I have just skipped it. If possible, at the end of this uh, syllabus, if you have time, we will definitely do it. And the notes for that is everything is ready. Even you can, I can send you the notes for that also. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Google Classroom link. Okay. People. Uh, copy. Now, those who have not added in Google Classroom, I think Google Classroom is really advantageous, guys. Please do add up there. Again, it will be a trouble at the time of your internals. Now it will be all fine. No one will care about it. But at the time of the internals, you will be under trouble. So don't come to a bottleneck situation over there. Just add up now. Okay. Only 47 students are there. Midlaj is not there. Akash, Marvin Lance, Bharat, all these people are not there. I have sent you invitation in your uh, email address also, for your email address also. You can either join from there or from here. Okay. Ah. How many of you have started to solving this? Let us write down the given data, whatever it is being given here. Given data. Okay. Sir. Ah, great. Sir, sir, do you know how to uh, exit from a class run in the Google Classroom? Like last sem's classes what? are there. No need to exit. It will be achieved by your, uh, like BTD class is still being appearing there. Uh, wait, sir, I don't, I don't know. Just check whether the BTD class is still no, being No, BTD is not there, sir. Triple M is there. Max 3 is don't there. Get, okay, don't get exited. MCW Let it be MCW. as it is. Okay. Your concerned lecturer will archive that particular class. If oh. he archives it, it will be saved automatically and it will be exited. You don't do it. Sir, I got exited. Don't do, man, Hashir. If, uh, don't do. Okay, don't get exited. Let it be as such. Hmm. Any other doubts? Shall we start? And this would be the, our last problem for this particular module, guys. So I want your maximum interaction. Okay. Maximum involvement. Shall we start? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. 
given data input is there in the test of four cylinder four stroke petrol engine so it is a four cylinder just write it down it's a four cylinder and a four stroke petrol a in net hoita Guys, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Okay. 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 I talk to you. I lost my connection. Okay. So it's a four-stroke, four-cylinder petrol engine. Ah, engine diameter, all those stuff he has given. So just write the engine so that it would be useful for us to grasp all the data. Ah, then could you get a pass? Engine board 75 mm held to there. So capital D directly given in meters 75 mm in the sense how many meters? How much meters? Convert 75 mm into meters, man. No one are there in the class. Point zero seven five meters and zero point one meters is the uh, this one. What I can say. Next, the following results were obtained at the full throttle at a constant speed with the fixed setting of fuel supply at. Time. So he has mass flow rate of that particular thing he has given. How much it is? It is 0 0.082 kgs per minute. Keep it as such. Whenever it is required, we will just change the data. Okay. Not visible, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so MF is zero point zero eight kilos per minute. Next, what else he has given? BP with all four cylinders working. He says, if he, if the BP is working for all the four cylinders, then it is what?
Am I audible, guys? I think there is a problem with my Wi-Fi connection. No, sir, audible. Just a minute. Okay, okay, okay. So more stress data. He says BP with all four cylinders working. What does it mean? Can I take it as BP, which is fifteen point two four kilowatt? And he says BP with uh, number one, that is first cylinder cut off. Can I take it as BP one directly? He has given. It is ten point four five kilowatt. Similarly, he has given the value of BP two, BP three, and BP four. So ten point four five, ten point three three. Next is ten point two three, and ten point four five again. Correct. So kilowatt. So this is all most test data he has given. Now, what else to determine? So what you are need to determine is to find. So first thing we need to find is IP. Second is the indicated thermal efficiency, and CV of the fuel is being given. I will take that. CV is equal to. CV is equal to 44 mega joules per kg. Just take care of the units. Okay. Uh, next, relative efficiency based on IP. He has asked. Third one is what he has asked is the efficiency relative. Already we have calculated once the relative efficiency based on IP. He says so. This should be based on IP. Okay. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So based on IP, we need to calculate the relative efficiency and clearance volume he has given. So clearance volume, clearance volume for each cylinder. So clearance volume for each cylinder is how much? One one five cc. So this is the clearance volume he has given. I think uh, this type of parameter is already calculated to calculate your relative efficiency, isn't it? We already done that. Okay, we'll just do it once again. Solution. So any problem in calculating IP? The first one is IP based on the most test we have. Four times of BP minus of BP one plus BP two plus BP three plus BP four. Okay, so this is equal to four times of fifteen point two four minus of BP one as ten point four five. Plus ten point three three, plus plus ten point two three, plus ten point four five. So give me the value of IP guys. How much it is? So this would be nineteen kilowatts naturally. Nineteen point five kilowatt. Very good. Second thing, what you have to calculate is indicated thermal efficiency, which is nothing but IP divided by EMF dot into CV. Okay, so IP you have just calculated EMF dot. I think he has given in some typical nothing man. It is forty four mega joules per kg. What do you mean by mega? Anyone? Ten point six. Ten power six. So can I just write it as forty-four into ten to the power of three? Ten to the power of three kilo joules per kg. 
Can I write it as such? Yes, sir. So MF dot is given as zero point zero eight two kgs per minute. So I should convert into second, isn't it? So it is zero point zero eight two divided by sixty kgs per second. Just substitute all those stuff there. Nineteen point five divided by MF is zero point zero eight two divided by sixty cross four. Four into ten to the power of three. What is the value of indicated thermal? Now? So into hundred. Do not forget that. So whatever you get now, it would be in percentage. Thirty-two percent. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Thirty-two point four. Okay, and the last bit for this particular module and this particular problem, which is the relative efficiency. The efficiency relative so is equal to how do you calculate this? It is the actual efficiency divided by the theoretical efficiency. I told you. Actual efficiency can be any of the three. Okay, it would be efficiency mechanical, it would be efficiency indicated thermal, or it could be efficiency brake thermal. Any of the things you can take. But what we what we will fix upon since indicated thermal is already been calculated, we will just fix upon the indicated thermal itself. Correct? Got it? Yes, sir. So. So this is equal to nothing but it is indicated thermal divided by efficiency theoretical. Efficiency theoretical in the sense it is auto cycle, isn't it? Auto cycle that is air standard efficiency. For that you have a formula. I'll just write it air standard. That's enough. Okay. Air standard. Yeah. So efficiency air standard is given as is given as one minus one divided by R V to the power of gamma minus one. Now what is R V here? Anyone remember this? What is R V? It is also called as the compression ratio. So it is nothing but the volume before compression okay divided by volume after compression i would just take the figures from that the previous problem where i have done it Where is that? Yes, here it is. The volume before compression to the volume after compression. Copy. Okay. So come back to this particular problem here. Just paste that. Okay. Ah, so, what is below volume before compression now? Volume before After compression, compression, can I write it as V plus Vs? Volume after compression is just Vc, correct? Am I right? Sir, your voice is breaking. Sir. Yes. Voice is breaking. Okay. Is that problem with everyone? No, sir. It is no, clear. Sir. No, sir. It's too high. Voice is breaking, sir. Acha. So I'll just try to manipulate my connection then. Hmm. Wait a minute.
सर जस्ट चेक इज इट फाइन नाउ इज इट ओके नाउ I don't know what's the problem, guys. Just check now whether it is okay. Okay, good. Okay, is it clear now, right? Yes. Okay. Good. So. we should continue so vc is being given in the problem just take that particular value how much it is vc value will put in the loan ah. so here it is it is 115 cc just take that vc value so 115 cc in the sense it is nothing but 115 cm cube okay now uh, Just convert it into meters. So how do you convert it into meters? 115 into 10 to the power of minus 2 is meters. You have a cube for it. So just go for cube. Now what does meter cube? So this is 115 into 2 threes. It is 10 to the power of minus 6 meter cube. Okay. Now how do you calculate the value of Vs? It is pi by 4 d square. Cross L, correct. So now pi by four d value is how much? What is the value of d? Zero point zero seven five. It's whole square. Cross L is point one meters. So what is the value of V s in meter cube? Give the value first. Four point four into ten to the power minus four. Four point four into ten to the power of minus four. Okay. Now you calculate the value of R V. Okay. So R V is equal to V C plus V S divided by V C. So VC is 115 cross 10 to the power of minus 6 plus VS is 4.4 into 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by VC again. So it is 115 cross 10 to the power of minus 6. So what is the value of RV? Four point eight two. So R V is four point eight. Just substitute four point eight and calculate your EF standard efficiency. Remember uh, the value of gamma. You have to remember it is one point four. You have to remember it. Okay, that would not be given in the question. So what is your EF standard efficiency?
सर मल्टीप्लाई दिस Then only you'll get a ten percentage. Okay, is the value right? This particular value. Just check the value. If you get the same value, just raise your hands. that is your end of your module number 1 hope it was easy for you okay it the all deals about the ic engines so problems are very very important i think i have covered almost all all the concepts and you internally you refer all the question papers pick the questions from your uh, question papers and even i have uh, solved many of whatever the problems i have solved it is all of the question papers only but yet yeah, you go through the question papers you solve it if in case you encounter any new thing any new concept you are unable to solve it you can contact me any time from the next class we will be uh, starting the new model which is model number 2 right on cycle so all of you just mark your attendance um in the google sheet and my counseling batch please do uh, complete the parents email id update your parents email id some of the fathers are not updated for example hashir kishan kotian ritik lobo so just update that some counseling details has been not been entered for example lucky rakesh gm ritik lobo update it and leave the class okay we'll meet up in tomorrow's class till then have a nice time enjoy your evening take care attendance hak beka sir How do? But I am trying to reduce Disha. Yari ko message kare kya koi in Google sheet type karta hai kya? Hello sir. Sir. Kine kya amal na norda kya? Mean type liya the. Hello sir. Ah hello. Hello. Sir, nene aagli le sir adu. Enda nene aagli.